Welcome to the Gundam Evolution Mission Briefing. Gundam Evolution is a free-to-play, six-on-six, first-person Gundam team shooter with a unique boost system that enhances the speed and realism of the game. Here is the latest information, so please stick with us until the very end. We'd like to start with this. We've had so many players play in Season 1, and a strong community has been developed for this game. Mariyama-san, do you have any comments regarding this? Well, I'm honestly really happy, and I'd like to say thank you to all the Gundam Evolution fans. We've received a lot of positive messages, and these messages have really lifted up our team members. However, since this was our first multi-language service launch, we had difficulties with making announcements, as well as having enough announcements, so this is something we would really like to improve on. When the game released, I really enjoyed the boost system, and I found myself playing a lot. What kind of feedback did you receive from other players? Right. From overseas players, we've been told the action that the boost system provides is extremely fun. The lack of roles in this game allows them to play really any unit they want. Our development team is really happy to hear this. Also, not just overseas, but here in Japan, we've received messages from people who started watching the anime or purchased Gunpla because they played this game. This also makes me really happy. Beginning in Season 2, this game will be coming out on home console systems. From what we learned from our network test, we have optimized the game, so I hope players who haven't had access to this game up until now will be able to play. Can you tell us about Season 2, Mobius? Yes. The new unit for Season 2 will be New Gundam. New Gundam is the mobile suit that Amuro, the main protagonist of Mobile Suit Gundam Char's counterattack, uses. It's a really popular one. It features special equipment called the Fin Funnel. Wow, the new mobile suit is the new Gundam, huh? This is really exciting. That's right. Let's now have Hogaki, the battle director, go more into depth about this unit. Hey everyone, I'm Linda, and I'm so excited to be here with the battle director of Gundam Evolution, Hogaki-san. Thank you so much for being here with us. I heard that there's going to be a new mobile suit. Can you show us? The new unit we will be introducing is... New Gundam. Its main weapon is a mid-ranged beam rifle. The active skill one is the fin funnel. The active skill 2 is the new Hyper Bazooka. The G Maneuver is the Fin Funnel Barrier. I will be explaining each of the skills in more detail. People really love the select animations. How did you go about creating the animations for this particular unit? When people think of New Gundam, they think of the Fin Funnel. So I asked the motion team to make sure the Fin Funnel looks cool. I will now be showing off the skills in training mode. 
First, we have Active Skill 1, the Fin Funnel. When you have a target, you can activate it to send two Fin Funnels to shoot the target four times each. However, if you can hit the target with any other attack twice, it will show a marker on the screen. And in this state, activating the Fin Funnel will send out four Fin Funnels, each shooting four shots each. Additionally, if you hit the target four times before activation, it will send out six fin funnels that will shoot four shots each. You can have a total of two marks, so always try to remember to hit the enemy four times before activation. Next, we have the new Hyper Bazooka. When activating the new Hyper Bazooka, Pressing a direction will allow New Gundam to move in that direction while shooting. Try using this to space out close-ranged units or adjusting the range between you and your enemies. The first-person view and third-person view are different, so I'd like to share that with you right now as well. Lastly, I'd like to explain the Fin Funnel Barrier. When activated, the Fin Funnels will create a barrier in all directions, blocking ranged attacks. However, if the enemy makes it inside the barrier, New Gundam will take damage. You want to make sure your enemies are outside the barrier. Along with the new unit, there is a new map, isn't there? The new map that will be added is the Colony Trading Post. The inspiration for this map is a city-type colony. The first area sets the battle in the city area. The destruction targets are A, located up here, and B. On the B site, we implemented a shutter gimmick. What that is, is after a certain amount of time, the shutters that are open or closed will alternate. As you can see here, the shutter in the front is opening while the one in the back is closing. By utilizing this, we wanted players to experience battle with an ever-changing line of sight. The top site does not have the shutter gimmick. But since it is an open area, for teams that consist of a lot of mid to long ranged units, I recommend planting on this site. The second area takes the battle to inside the colony, an underground area. There is another new gimmick in this area, the conveyor belt. You can use these moving containers to close the enemy line of sight. Or if you so please, you can use it to close in on your enemies. Lastly, I will explain the second destruction targets. The first of the destruction is... The transporter. Or... The runway pillar located below. The lower site implements the shutter gimmick I described earlier. It alternates between the front and back shutter, as well as the side shutters. This gimmick can save you from being attacked during detonation, or let you plant because of the line of sight change. These are the kind of situations we wanted to create. So, can you tell us about the new features being added in Season 2? Of course. 
This season will feature tons of items from Mobile Suit Gundam Char's Counterattack. My personal favorites are Sazabi's new MVP and New Gundam's new Select animation. There are many items that the fans of the original movie would love, but I think the Psycho Frame Stamp is going to be a must, although I really love the New Gundam Plane Skin. Also, we will be featuring the unit unlock for New Gundam, a rare skin set, and the Amado portrait in the unit pack Mobius. Wow, that's already tons of new features. Is there anything else? Oh yes. As an MP purchase item, there will be the Gundam Barbatos second form skin. Additionally, the game will feature a brand new function called titles, and the custom matches will have some quality improvements. We're also working on the ranked match system. What is this new titles function? Yes, similar to player icons and portraits, it is a feature that can be seen by other players. However, instead of finding them in season passes or supply pods, you will receive them depending on your past battle records. Also, the PC version will have a spectator mode implemented before the home console versions of the game. I hear there's some region-specific news. Can we take a look? Gundam Expo USA 2022. Top streamers Dyrus and Sure 4 will be live on stage at Anime NYC as part of the Gundam Expo. They'll be playing Gundam Evolution exhibition matches with support from the live audience. The Gundam Evolution Showdown returns to the U.S. to celebrate the release of Season 2. Sign up now to compete in the open bracket for a chance to take home a share of the $20,000 prize pool. Visit GundamEvolution.com for more information. All these new features in the game are amazing. I can't wait to see what's in Season 3. And to those watching, thank you so much for being here today. We are really excited to share future updates with you. The feedback you've been giving us has been greatly appreciated, and we hope you continue to support our game.